I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just those categories. This is a great way to push yourself to play something you might not normally play. And also, if you play in special events, many times they'll pre-select a category or even a hand and the winner of either the category or hand would win a prize. You can practice playing for prizes. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We'll be forcing hands in these categories. Odds, Winds and Dragons, 369. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So I'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a couple of jokers, pair of flowers, white and red dragon. We have north and west. And then in cracks, we have three, four, six. In dots, we have four, seven, eight. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd probably play wins, but we do have a 3-6. We could play 3-6-9. That kind of leaves a pretty risky pass, though. I think I would focus on wins, wins and dragons. Maybe pass those three. Okay, here we go. We got a nine, three, nine, two, two, four, eight. I would continue to focus here, but maybe we could play a year hand in here under the Winds and Dragons category. Let's keep the twos. We'll pass these three. Flower. We did get a one. There's only one hand in Winds and Dragons with four flowers. Third one down. I think I would keep the winds and pass these three. Because we could still play. Actually, maybe we could let this dragon go and pass those three. Maybe play the year hand, north and south with the year, or east and west with the year, or winds with the flowers. If we get multiples, we could switch to a quint, maybe, with all those flowers. But quince is not up here. Let's pass these. We got a west. East and west with the year, maybe. Let's pass those. White dragon. Oh, white dragon. Six, three, northwest flowers. Year tiles. East and west with the year. I think I would let the north go and play east and west with the year. At least we would be able to use two flowers. And we have jokers to help us with our gap. We got the east. 
Now that is helpful. 2012 East West Flower. We have, we're on last right. We have no gaps now. I would risk passing the white dragon. Flower, we don't need it. And I would not pass a flower. I would want two in the optional cross. Nines. You know what I would do here? I'd probably switch to a quint. But we wouldn't win a prize. For the sake of the exercise, I would play east and west with the year. Discard those. Try for a prize. We have a dragon, a north, four, five, six, eight in cracks, one, seven, nine in bams, six, seven, eight, nine in dots. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would probably play big odds, five, seven, nine. We do have some three, six, nine in here, but we have no threes. So I would pick big odds. Pass the north, a six, maybe this one. I don't think it really matters. North six eight, and that way we can maybe pass one eight six if we get what we want here. We may or may not be able to use the dragon, but there are a couple hands where we might be able to. There's an off suit dragon hand, fourth one down, and then there's the one suit dragon hand, second one down. We would have to get five dots to make that work though. All right, so let's pass these three. We got nines. I would keep them, and we don't need to pick a hand because we have discards. We would keep gathering. So I would not even focus on what we got, just the fact that we are gathering odds, big odds. So let's pass one of each suit. We got odds. Five bam, seven dot. We have two tiles to pass. So this is where I would whittle down. And I would build around the multiples. We have seven, nine, five, seven, dragon. Five, seven, dragon, seven, nine. So probably I would discard that. I really don't like passing white dragons. We could play five, seven, seven, nine, or maybe we ought to keep this and play a pair hand, but that's not on here. We're playing odds, so we need to pick a hand under odds, not the pair hand. We have two sets of nines in here. I don't think there's a double nine hand. So maybe what we should do is Let's see here. Five, seven, seven, nine, or five, seven, dragon, seven, nine. Break one of these up. We're on first left. 
579 five seven two nines if we had a three in here I probably would consider switching to three six nine maybe what we should do is keep the six and pass those because we have two sets of nines there's also this seven in in light arena odds we won't be able to use both nines but in 369 we could there's that second or third hand down under 369 with double nines maybe what we could do is yeah let's let's pass the white dragon that's painful because i don't like doing that okay here we have no keepers we want big odds or three, six, nine. So we'll pass these. Whoa, fives. Oh my gosh, look at that. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine in one suit. Five, seven. Five, seven. Here's five, seven. Five seven dragon seven nine. We could still play five seven nine in one suit if we get either the dragons or flowers. Okay, let's pass these three. Oh my gosh, flowers. I don't know anyone who would do that, but we'll keep them. I think I would pass that. Red dragon, eight crack, focus on five, seven, nine with these flowers now. Break that up. Flower, white dragon. I would play that second hand down five seven nine dragon i would not pass a flower but i would risk this since we have no gaps we got the white so i would pass those or discard those five seven nine dragon under odds that's a really good result right there we could pung here pung here we just need a little help with our nine because we need a kong there but we have our pair okay now we need to force three six nine We have a flower, a north, a white dragon, one nine in bams, four six eight nine in dots, four five six eight in cracks with a pair of eights. We need to force three six nine. If I were not forcing a hand, I would play two four six eight and keep all the evens building around the eight. But since we're forcing hands, I would keep the tiles for that category. And gather there are two hands that use dragons so I would keep that and I would probably pass one of each suit break up the eight four eight one bam or maybe the wind save this for maybe the next pass Three, six. Those would be keepers for that category. 
and we wouldn't even need to look at the card. We just continue passing because we have plenty of discards. Anytime you have discards during the Charleston, don't spend time figuring out what to play. If you have tiles, you can clearly pass. That will keep the game moving. So I think what I would do here is probably pass those three. And that's not a bad pass if we get everything we want. No keepers here. There's a pair in there. Five, four, eight, one. I think I would pass one, five, eight. We got a nine and a six. We have tiles we can pass, so I still wouldn't pick a hand. Maybe pass these three. Flower. We have tiles to pass. Now this is a little risky. So then I would look at the tiles and see if there's something we can do here and break that up a little bit. With flowers, I don't think this is gonna help. The two hands with dragons do not use flowers. We could maybe pass that. We're on the cross pass, so we're obligated to pass three. Here we have six, nine. We could do three, six, nine, but we, we have a gap, no three dot. Three, six, nine mixed suits. With the flowers. There are two hands we could play. One suit, three, six, nine, one suit, or three, six, nine mixed suits. Let's pass these three. There's a three. And we do have tiles to pass, but we have like numbers with twos there. So here, three, six, nine, three dot nine bam. Three, six, three, six, flowers. Let's see here. I think what I would do is break that up and pass a nine. There's a three dot. I would play three, six, nine, mix suit Kongs probably. Let's see what we're left with here. Optional cross, I think what I would do is keep them all, pass two. No keepers. Three, six, nine. We've got options, but we even have a hand in here with no gaps. Three, six, nine, mixed suit Kongs, three discards with options. I would say that's a good result. American Mahjong is a very flexible style. You have a lot of categories and hands to choose from. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you can make just about anything work. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.